We're just passing the mine now. We'll be out of this frozen stuff and low enough pretty soon that we'll get back into a warmer climate. The good thing about everything always being uphill is the return journey, everything's always downhill. My knees take just as much wear going down as up. So like, I try and just watch my step and remember with each step what my knees are doing. I've put a lot of miles on my legs, so I have to be a little bit more thoughtful. That second one goes over my boot print from last night. It's definitely a wolf. It's not a coyote. Too big for a coyote. Small wolf. It's cool as you can see the, the claw marks. Isn't that cool? We got a little bit further to go. We'll be down out of the high country and uh, down into the medium country where we can then uh, start out for the legends. Yeah, the legends. Well, next we'll actually, we'll pass a couple crossroads, then the lake, then the legends, and then we're out of here. As you all know, it's not as easy as all that. Okay, we are almost to the lake. We are making really good time going downhill. Now I'm getting very thirsty. I only have a little bit of water left. I've been sipping on it. That's also the downside to a salty meal. Uh, the food might last longer. However, it does make me thirstier. So, however, again, that is necessary what I heard it was loud and close did you hear that huh anyway the human body needs a uh, constant liquid and sodium so they can make the right amounts of blood and stuff in our system when we're going long distances and stuff and we don't have enough of what we actually need it's important to to know what it is we need and get it where we can. These are just, you know, my survivor tips. Nothing more. However, it seems to be somewhat successful. You see anything back there? 
Just, just watch, I get back, I'm editing it, and it's like, Aah! Ah, so good. All right, yeah, we'll hit the crossroads to the lake here in a minute, and then start heading, heading back towards the legends in a roundabout way. was storming down in here last night we were totally protected by the cabin well and it's chasing us out too it looks like oh nice see that's straight out of Canada guys right around this corner there's a valley and that leads straight to Canada it was predict predicted to turn north last night and hammer the heck out of the mountain. That's what we were trying to get ahead of. It looks like we might have gotten in and gotten out without it even knowing. Ah, ah. And it's coming up behind us with a vengeance. Can you see the snow? The hail? The hail? The hail you say? Ah. Yeah, it's cold. It's definitely cold. It got a lot colder as soon as I came around there. Okay, let's keep on mushing on. Look at that. That's where we're headed, guys. Uh, on on foot. You see, try to point to it right in there, the furthest distance. Not this stuff, not this close stuff, down there. Look at the ice blowing down there on the lake. Wow, if you look at it, it looks like it's a storm, like water on top of the lake. Can you see that? Oh, I wish I had a camera that would zoom in. It looks just like the water, but it's moving. And it's ice is what it is. It's that fine ice on top of it. See the, can you see the, uh, the hail coming down now? There you go. Oh, what the heck? My battery just dropped to nothing. I gotta get more batteries, guys. All right, next stop, somewhere out there. Just laying here, enjoying the uh, the earth here at the top of that hill. Oh, it's been a great journey. Honestly, it wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be. 
I am not complaining. February, though, you know? And I've been through so many catastrophes. It's hard not to kind of overestimate everything that I'm going to do, I guess. It keeps me from underestimating anything. Because there's nothing like finding myself in one of those situations that was, let's just say, ill thought out. You know how those can be? That's why I kind of take everything really seriously. And, you know? Try and have what I need to make it. Isn't that nice up there? Just look at that. So beautiful. Wow. I'm just about out of water. I try and never drink all of it. I do the uh the battlefield IV when I start getting down really low. I'll just take one little sip of it every now and then. Oh, sorry, my nose won't stop running, guys. And I'll just take one little sip. So, we don't have but maybe a couple more miles to go, and then we'll be towards the shot that goes to uh, the Legends. So, I try and be vague and obscure, uh, honestly, just so that I'm not giving exact directions to everywhere I go, you know? But yeah, we'll keep going that way. Here in a couple miles, We'll be at the legends we'll get some more water so i'm gonna drink what i have here god the hair keeps tickling me ah and then i uh, bounce Oh, the battlefield IV. Yeah, that's where if we're in a survival situation and we wind up dehydrated, right? Dehydration is terrible. And when we drink water, we'll barf, right? Our body just won't hold it down. So you take a bottle of water like this and about every 15 minutes, you pour a cap full of water and then sip it and then close it back up. In a couple hours, that'll actually rehydrate the body and we'll stop being sick anymore. And the reason for that is that there's so little water in that capful that our body won't purge it and yet it will be forced to absorb that liquid so in a couple to three hours we'll start feeling better well i'm in long distances like this to avoid dehydrating i only have a little bit of water i do basically the same thing that way none of the water is wasted it's all absorbed into my system all right let's kick it guys we're on the home stretch i'd guess it's probably Oh, it could easily be, I, I'm guessing four, it could easily be five, 4.30 to five maybe with the coloration. Yeah, we started out up there this morning, so we're making pretty good time. Let's go ahead and kick it. Okay, cool. It looks like the legend and his wife are home. Very cool, guys. We don't have long. Can't stay and talk and stuff. Just got to fill up water, let them know we're all right, and then boom, we're out. There's Chewbacca. Yep. Ah. 
It's not. All right. I'll see you, Lance. All right. <laughs> He's like, come in, have some coffee, warm up. You sure you don't want to ride? I'm like, no, this is what I do this for. This is the, the zest of life for me. And he's like, be sure to post something so I know you got back safe, right? And I'm like, oh, I will. Figure four or five hours. All right, guys, let's fill up the water. Every 10 minutes counts right now at this point in the race, guys. Ah. Oh, I have to remember not to drink it too fast. I'm just trying to get enough in my system to count, uh, get that absorbed, and then I'll top it off and we can split. When we're thirsty, if we drink too much all at once, it'll give us a stomach ache, and it can also lead to like health problems. I'm not sure what they are. I mean, I know a couple of them, but I don't have time to go over them right now with you. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Okay, that better be as much as, yeah. Yeah, I'll be totally dark within 40 minutes, I'd say, guys. See you next time, Bigfoot. Okay, guys, we started way up, way up there this morning. Yeah, well, might as well be dark for y'all guys. It's straight from here. Well, it's a little bit of logging road, then the grade, then some farm road, then highway, then Loomis, then the orchard. That's where we pick Max up. After that, we're back into the world of uh, no more pedestrian. All right, here we go. We're rolling. So, what we're going to do is just mush on. We know that the... Uh, the moose, the moose are down here. The wolves seem to be in the highlands. I would expect the wolves to have such a large range that they're probably down in here too. It's the moose I worry about. They're the only animal that you can't stare down. The only animal that doesn't respect like the wild of a predator kind of like vibe because I throw out that predator vibe and most of the time that's a good way to like get past most animals. A moose just sees something smaller than it and tries to kill it. So I'm just going to keep my eyes out, my 44 close. We're going to march through. All right, we've got 61% left on the battery. This is our last portable battery. Y'all guys are at like 70% uh, here on the GoPro. I've stopped, got the drag sled here. We're at the little creek. I've stopped because up that way, you can't see anything in that tree line out there. We have to pass through, I don't know, quarter mile, half mile of densely forested area before we get into the open plains kind of area. So that's moose habitat is what I'm saying. Our likelihood of if we see a moose, if we get ambushed by a moose, it's going to be somewhere inside this. It's all uphill, and because the drag sled is loud, I can't do it quietly anyway. So I'm gonna hook the light up right in front of us, and we're gonna make a mush straight through it.
I think when I'm hauling, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hang it right off the front like that. I did actually put the wolf pee in my pocket. So if we wound up in a, in a ring around the rosy up here, I wanna splash it out all over the place, shoot, shoot some more when that fails we're down to the machete guys i'll try and drop you in the light in the right place so you can watch all right mush keep the light out of my eyes All right, friends, I haven't made it very far at all. I'm having to pace myself a little bit more. It could be more than a quarter mile or a half mile. So I'm very noisy and that's giving away my location. I don't like it. So what I'm doing every 20 or so steps, I stop like this, breathe, rest, and then listen. Basically all the light is good for is if there's something out there looking at us, the light will reflect a lot like uh, like reflective paint at night is kind of what it looks like. I did forget until just a moment ago too, there were also cougars and mountain lions out here too. I have absolutely no experience with them. I think of them as the uh, Velociraptor kind of out here. The moose would definitely be T-Rex. The wolves are a kind of Velociraptor. It's kind of how I see it, you know? And I mean, it's serious. It really is. I'm Google Earth it. I'm one little speck down here out in the whole lot of nothing. So I try and realize how serious it all actually is if i keep it serious in my mind i think it's less likely to get into problems you know Gotta be getting close. We're looking for a second road where it meets. We'll start going down and then we'll get out of this forest into some open country. At least then we won't have to worry about moose. Here is where a person learns that I whether or not though they are okay with being alone and I don't mean lonely there's nobody nothing listen to it Everything that happens between now and when we encounter the next living humans depends solely on our choices, be them wise or not very well thought out. All right, I'll see you at the open space.
lest something goes wrong. Okay, I hit the opening a minute ago. Uh, so we're just gonna be sparsely forested now along the road until we get out open uh, into open country. I do not like the sound that the drag sled is making. Uh, yeah, it just, it sounds too much like, you know, how you try and get a kitty cat to like play with you or something. You scratch on like a cardboard box or on the floor or something, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm just getting in my head about it. I'm wondering if I could break it all down and just pack it, pack it out. I don't know, I'm gonna stop here for a minute and think about it. I don't want my time on my light to run out. Uh, I'm only on 64%. It should do it, this is a really efficient light. I don't want y'all's time to run out either, you're only 62%. All right, I'm gonna rest for a minute and then I'll let you know what I've decided once we're back on the move. I'm gonna listen around too, just to make sure there's anything out here. have 60% on the portable battery. I need that to get home. I might can see if I can spare some juice at some point. Right now, there's not much to see anyway. So, I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the road and keep moving. We're in the spotty, spotchy forest. So that's where it's like just sparsely forested along the road. We'll be getting into the opening soon. I feel better not dragging that great big cat toy along with me. And this light's definitely bright enough to see eyes coming up. This is so much fun, guys. I wish you could see it better. Like with the light off even, I can see really well. I don't know, you can't see the stars. Hang on, let's see. No. Okay, friends, we're now at lookout point. It justifies using enough battery to do this uh, wide shot. So I just want to kind of give you a look at what it looks like out here. It's just us. Wish you could see the sky. It's so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It really is. You can see stars that nobody's probably ever seen before. It's that just crystal clear, especially with the light out. We got about two miles to the bottom of the grade from here. So this is where the grade starts. Oh, that's good. That's so good. I've been going sparingly on it. <laughs> we made it, guys. We are at the bottom of the grade. Hoorah. Now, we have two miles on a country road. Then, once the country road hits the highway, we have another two miles to Loomis. And then, uh, miles to get to the orchard so we're not there yet once i get where i can see if the moon would come up i can plug y'all guys into this battery which will give you more longevity i should be more quiet there are farmhouses well i mean they're quite a ways over but still all right we gotta keep walking
There's a spigot for water around here somewhere. I think around back. Oh, I hope so. We better find out before uh, before finishing this. Don't want sign for the walk back to the orchard. Oh yeah. o'clock straight up okay that's not too bad all right friends so I was losing energy really bad I ditched the backpack I stashed it down here so we're uh, we're headed for max we got a couple miles to go before I get to the farm We'll bring Max back, grab the backpack. It's just, it's too far. I haven't uh, worked out or done anything that's exerting in a long time. So, we'll be to the farm pretty soon. I did it. I made it. We're on the orchard, guys. I know you can't see anything there. Look at the moon. Hi, moon. We made it. I'm looking at Max. I'm passing Max. Hi, Max. Yeah, keep your motor running, bro. We gotta go do something. All right. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. That was too much, too far. Too, there it is. Just thinking about this can of peaches. Oh, they're apricot halves for so far. We have to get Max. Oh, bright. Too bright. Oh, man. Praise Jesus, we made it. I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. I've been thinking about these. I thought these were peaches. They're apricots. I got from the shop right before I left. We were making a nice snack up there on the trail. But I left them. Oh, that looks so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that is so good. It's starving. All right, microwave directions. Max won't start. Which means I have to go back into town and get my backpack. Good morning, friends. It's uh, just about 11 o'clock. I've been up and at it since uh, 10. Just getting the pickup packed. I had to go back on my bicycle last night to, uh, to get my backpack. It all worked out. I've got Max charging. I'm about to see if he'll start now. Recording, right? Yes. All right. Come on. Come on, Max. Come on. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Dang it. Uh, 
and the battery froze is all that happened I just got you a new one That's a lot of built up crap on these posts. Scraping off the built up, what do you call it? It's corrosion, yeah. Let's see how he likes this. for the adjustment to work. Doing better. 
It's going there a quarter turn. That's gonna do it. Maybe. Ugh. All right, he died. Battery's dead. Ugh. Dang it. I parked up there I could have pushed started him as soon as I put the breather on it died Okay, we're charging. I might just ride my bicycle down to the quick stop. I've got everything else done. As soon as I can get this running, I'm out of here. Yeah, so I want some breakfast. Say hey to my friends down there. They've started having donuts and stuff down there now. So like there's a uh, in-house dining, donuts. Uh, they're adding new things to the hot case. Yeah, that's it. We'll just slow down, put a little charge on Max, and then uh, when I get back, we'll just make sure that next time he starts, we're, we're off. Adversity, it keeps us going. Good thing is, by the time I get some breakfast and get back, which is actually lunch, uh, Max should start. I'll have everything else done so we can just head straight to town. It's a brand new alternator. The battery should charge while we drive. <sighs> yeah, you get a new starter, new battery. Yeah. I know, what's this? Hey, how you doing, Jesse? Hanging in there, just headed down to the store real quick. Totally cool. Friend of mine from Loomis. All right, we got about another mile or so to go. Get some breakfast, get back, get on the road. Midnight in New Orleans Where the moon watches over the sea Midnight in New Orleans Just another broken down dream
I love Loomis. It's hot. I mean, I'm really enjoying being in town, being at the shop, being able to socialize. You know, Loomis is home though. It's cool that Jarvis and Becky got the quick stop. It really is. I miss my buddy Jerry. I do. Last I heard though, he's out on the lake fishing. So I know that was his retirement dream. I just gotta find time to get up to this place and bug him one of these days. Jarvis and Becky, they, they've done a good job with the quick shop. They really have. They've got uh, indoor seating. They've got, they're putting in some outdoor seating for the summertime. Uh, yeah, really nice. It's cool how they've totally like just taken the store and made it their own, you know?